A very happy day to my dear children. Welcome to your online English classes for today. Look at these pictures carefully. I'll read out them for you. Fight, cook, eat, swim, jump. Children, look at this picture carefully and try to recognize what chapter we are going to study today. Yes, you are right. Today we are going to study verbs and the types of verbs with the examples. The definition of verb says that a word that tells what someone or something does, an action word or word of being. For example, sit laugh run and jump so whatever the subject in a sentence is doing whatever action is performed by the sen uh, uh, your subject or noun in a sentence it is depicted through verb so it is a word which shows action or state of being like sitting laughing running jumping they are your ing form of verbs Now, every part of a sentence has main verb or principal part of verb and auxiliary verb. Firstly, we are going to discuss about the principal parts of verb. They have five forms. First is your infinitive or base, which is used after models. No tense is shown. It is same as present tense for a plural subject. Rats like cheese. So, like is your base form of verb. Okay, and if it is used with singular, it becomes likes, but if it is used with plural, it will remain the same. Then we studied the present tense in our previous videos in which we were forming it by adding s or es, same with for past tense by adding d or ed, then present participle and past participle. The principal part of verb are formed that it helps to express the time and action. So, in tenses also we studied the definition as which tells us about at what time the thing is being done. So, here the main part of verb, it helps us to identify the tense of the sentence. We have already studied the four principal parts. They are present, present participle, yani ki ing form of verb, past and past participle. Okay. Then, the regular verbs, very important. In our tenses chapter also, I have explained you that regular form of verbs are used for past tense by adding D or ED to the base form. Jo first form hai, us mein agar hum D or ED add karte hai, to regular verbs ban jate hai. But irregular verbs are those verbs which are not formed by adding D or ED. Okay, that is why we call them irregular. The secret is knowing them is to learn them by heart. The only thing is that you need to mug them up. Aapko ne learn karna padega. Like fly will become flew. It will not become flied. Run will become ran. It will not become runned. Okay, so you have to be very careful. You have to learn them. Remember children, a regular verb is one that does not take the ending for the past simple form. It is very important. Yani ki usme D or E D aap add nahi karoge. Then another important thing are your B form of verbs. So, uh, is, am, are present tense ke liye, was, were past tense ke liye. These are your B form of verbs. All right, and these are used for your continuous tenses. So let's revise children. Today we studied the definition of verb which shows the action or the action words in a sentence are known as the verbs. Then we studied the principal or main verbs. Okay, they tell us about the tense of the sentence. Then the helping verbs or the B form of verbs or the auxiliary verbs. They are is, am, are, was, were. All right. Then we studied regular and irregular verbs. Regular verbs are formed by adding D or ED to the base form. Whereas the irregular verb, you need to learn them. All right. So I hope children, you understood the chapter. Go through it and be ready for your Zoom classes tomorrow. Thank you. Have a nice day.